the, the point of that story is that it, it wasn't some horrible, traumatic thing that I care. I have those. This was not one of those. And I, I think that what we're missing, we're missing it a lot. I, I also wanted to build off something the 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 way the transactional mode of, of dating apps is very real. I mean, we've been humans for hundreds of thousands of years, and we've had the internet for like one minute relative to that. And, and, and we definitely lose some things in communication, but it, it does come down to men having to shoulder more uncomfortability in that regard. Um, and also just quickly on the porn point, and then I'll let you go back. I think the formulation of, of understanding porn as automatically, simplistically a degrading thing that makes men want to come on their girlfriend's faces or whatever like it's a little simplistic sometimes because like there's some porn that I find really hot you know like there's some things that are happen in porn that are framed as degrading that women enjoy sometimes and and I think sexuality doesn't have to become like the bedroom is not an egalitarian space and like I don't have to live my feminist like theory while I'm getting fucked like that's okay <laughs> and I think that if we could actually just <laughs> You know, we could move to this understanding that like sexuality is not a coin to be traded, it's a renewable resource, and we could all just be positive and work towards enthusiastic consent. I think we could all be having a lot better sex. Uh